Even if there's a deal with China and the U.S., can the U.S. impose tariffs on car makes or in Germany? Because it seems that actually President Trump is quite hard on Germany. He has a problem with Germany. Yes, and I think the Europeans are probably hoping this China negotiation drags on and on and on because it seems they need to conclude it before they turn to, turn to Europe. Um, no, it's one of the things we're most concerned about in our forecast. So I think what, what's going to happen is there will be a conclusion of this 232 investigation that says there is um, basically some unfair competition, and then Europe will be singled out as, as the one big economic area where those tariffs get imposed. And, and that's going to potentially, I think, disturb the recovery that we're just starting to see in Europe. There's a recovery in, in, in Europe and the trade dynamics are there. Which is the more predictable, exports or imports? I think in the U.S. data, it's actually been really surprising import dynamics more than you know, the president and many other people's focus on exports. Well, so what's, what's interesting about <clears throat> Europe is that imports have held up remarkably well. So there's a perception that Europe is very weak. GDP growth was very weak. Actually, domestic demand was not weak. There was an enormous inventory squeeze in Europe right. that snapped back early in the year. Exports were very weak. So globally, clearly, exports have declined by about 18 percentage points or so the last 12 months, and, and that's sort of affecting everyone.